in a 2004 report of the Russian newspaper Pravda and then X Disclosure Project, from his recordings were presented curious memories narrated by Boriska about serious cataclysms on Mars. For example, he insists that the last hundred thousand million years, there were serious problems with water. Mars began to lose its atmosphere and water. Boriska said there were no special ships that were on the closest planet, the Earth, to get water. Similar to the cylinders that serve as motherships. It all started one day while watching a television show on the Discovery Channel, he began to talk enthusiastically about the Grey Civilization. They are not Martians, he said, pointing to the screen. We are not, we are closer to lemurs and Atlanteans. According to him, the Greys are cruel. They are from another galaxy. We even had to fight against them, since they are the aggressors, our race was kind, less aggressive and more intellectual, we could even use psychic energy. Said Boriska. According to the boy's mother, he had something that resembled memory outbursts, which never repeated again after he returned to his video game and forgot everything. But to everyone's dismay Boriska does not talk about these matters of Mars or the solar system, the child, in the words of experts, is closing. Most likely, the difficulties of our earthly reality are making it happen. Today the only Boriska distraction is the computer screen that is playing every day. When someone tries to talk to him about any subject that is largely ignored, life on Mars no longer interests him. Now Boriska is a reserved and hostile person. The child's openness and ingenuity played a negative role in their destiny. Children their age and even older, as usual in our society, they react with jealousy and envy to the boy. On several occasions picked up on the street and was insulted several times, and to learn how to defend himself he had to learn to fight. All this made him very sad. People started trying different Boriska after becoming celebrity. Most responded with interest and curiosity, but around 15 to 17 percent reacted with incomprehensible hatred and rage. Unhappily, they are somehow the persecuted of crueler kids. Just like Jesus Christ, who came and taught people to do good, who had thought that outrageous they want to crucify him. To be different from the boy, as it did not fit in any sense the average of a normal child, and unfortunately this fact that made him famous was also his misfortune. Some time ago, a mother sent a message to the school, throw out Boriska school, he is teaching our children to die. An investigation was carried out, and the boy had told his colleagues about reincarnation, talked about the reincarnation of souls and in which, incidentally, is an example and testimony. But, apparently, the word and the idea was not known by many in school, and so they were very concerned about the possibility of suicide among children. Added to his problems came the divorce of his parents, and with it the division of the newly obtained apartment, the boy had to move. In this fight there was no room for the child and his childhood problems, hungry, he often went to eat at the house of an aunt, leaving Boriska still sad. An acquaintance of the family says that today Boriska is experiencing difficulties. The first stones were thrown at Boriska, and they began to close. The main reason, of course, is the attitude and the bad people. Russian scientists are studying this case today. Professor Vladislav Logovenko, PhD in Mathematical Physics, Institute of Terrestrial Magnetism, the Russian Academy of Sciences intends to continue studies on the child and wrote a book about Boriska where important revelations were recorded. A boy named Boris Kipriyanovich or Boriska, lives in the city of Zhiranovsk in the Volgograd region of Russia. He was born on January 11, 1996. Since he was four years old he used to visit a known anomalous area, commonly known as Medvedetskia Gryata, a mountain near the city. It seems that the boy had to visit the area regularly to meet their energy needs. The Boriska parents, nice people, courteous and hospitable, are concerned about their son's fascinating talents. They do not know how others perceive when Boriska grow up. He says that I would be happy to consult an expert to know how to increase his prodigy. Being a doctor, 
his mother could not help noticing that the child could lift his head and 15 days after birth. He uttered the first word Baba when he was four months old and shortly after began to pronounce simple words. A year and a half, he had no trouble reading the headlines. At two years, he began to draw and was inclined to paint six months later. When he arrived at two, he began to go to a local nursery. Tutors immediately saw the unusual boy, his unusual and quick thinking, language skills, and a unique memory. However, his parents declared that Boriska had knowledge not only of the outside world, but through mysterious channels as well. They saw him reading unknown information from somewhere. Nobody ever taught you, said Boriska's mother. Sometimes he would sit in a lotus position and start telling us detailed facts about Mars, the planetary systems and other civilizations, that really stun us, the woman said. How can a child know these things? Space became the permanent subject of their stories when the child was two years old. He once told me that he used to live even Mars. He says that the planet is inhabited now as well, although he lost his atmosphere after a gigantic catastrophe. Martians live in underground cities, says Boriska. Scientists create a three-dimensional map of underground channels on Mars. The finding could clarify the role of water in the geological past of the Red Planet. The boy also says that he used a vessel to fly to Earth for research purposes, when he was a Martian. On the other hand, a single spacecraft was even tested. It happened at the time of the Lemurian civilization. He talks about the fall of Lemuria as if it happened in Pass. He says that Lemurians died because they stopped developing spiritually and the unity of their planet was broken. When his mother brought him a book entitled Who Do We Originate From Ernest Muldashev, I was very excited about it. He spent a lot of time looking through the sketches of Lemurians, photographs of Tibetan pagodas, and then told his parents about the lemurs and their culture for several hours without stopping. As he spoke, the mother realized that lemurians lived 70,000 years ago, and they were 9 feet tall. How can you remember all this? The woman asked her son. Yes, I remember it, and nobody told me this, I saw it, said Boriska. Muldashev's second book In Search of the City of the Gods, he looked through images for a long time and remembered most of the pyramids and temples. Then he said that people do not find ancient knowledge under the Great Pyramid of Cheops. Knowledge can be found under another pyramid, which is not as discovered yet. Human life will change when the Sphinx opens, it has an opening mechanism somewhere behind the ear, I cannot remember exactly, he said. Boriska is one of the so-called indigo children. They begin to appear on Earth as a symbol of the next great transformation of the planet. The boy says that the displacement of Earth's poles will cause two catastrophes. Only few people will survive, he said. No, I'm not afraid of death, because we live forever. There was a catastrophe on Mars, where I lived. People like us still live there. There was a nuclear war between the two. Everything burned. Only a few of them survived, built shelters and created new weapons. All modified Martian materials breathe mainly carbon dioxide. If they flew to our planet now, they would have to spend all the time next to the tubes and breathing in the smoke, said Boriska. If you are from Mars, you need carbon dioxide. If I am in this body, I breathe oxygen. But you know, it causes aging. Specialists ask the child why the man taken by the spacecraft will often crash when he approaches Mars. Martians transmit special signals to destroy stations contain harmful radiation, said Boriska. Boy has a deep knowledge of space and its dimensions. He is also aware of the structure of interplanetary UFOs. Talk about him as an expert, draw UFOs on blackboards and explain how they work. Here's one of his statements. They have six layers of the top layer of solid metal beads for 25%, the second layer of rubber, 30%, the third layer of metal, 30%, and the last layer, magnetic properties, 4%. If we give energy to the magnetic layer, spacecraft will be able to travel through the universe. 
He also states that Boriska in his past life was a kind of soldier who participated in a great war in Mars where he died, could travel with ships quickly x the solar system and with other types of ships go to other universes. Boriska has a series of difficulties at school. After an interview that was taken to the school, but then tried to get rid of it. He constantly interrupts teachers and says they are wrong, now the child has classes with a private tutor. Other sources of information. Boriska, the alien boy Boriska is a Russian indigo child who remembers some of his previous lives and not precisely on the planet Earth, but on the planet Mars. He talks in great detail about the red planet, from a very young age the parents realized that his son was not a normal child like the others. Here is the full text, translated from a Pravda report, signed by the journalist and scientist Gennady Belomov, on January 11, 1996, an uncommon child was born in the Volkskai city, in the Volgograd region of Russia. Her mother, Nadezhda Kipriyanovich, describes the labor of childbirth, it was very fast and I did not feel any pain. When I was shown the baby, she looked at me with her big brown eyes, and as a doctor, I know that this concentrated look is not usual among newborns. Except this fact seemed like a normal baby. When she left the maternity home, Nadezhda began to perceive that the boy named Boris had a unique behavior, he rarely cried and never asked for food. He grew like the other children, but he began to speak whole sentences at eight months. With a year and a half, he read newspapers. The parents gave him a set of pieces to assemble figures and he began to elaborate geometric pieces combining different parts with precision. He had the impression that we were like aliens to him, aliens he was trying to communicate with, said Boris's mother or Boriska as he is called by the family. Boriska began to design figures that at first glance were abstractions, in which tones of blue and violet mixed. When psychologists examined the designs they said that the boy was probably trying to represent the aura of the people he saw around him. At three years old, Boris began to talk with his parents about the universe. He knew how to name the planets of the solar system and their respective satellites. He also talked about names and number of galaxies. That scared and the mother thought her son was fantasizing, that's why he decided to check if those names really existed. He consulted astronomy books and was shocked to find that Boris, in fact, knew a lot about that science. The rumors about the child astronomer spread rapidly in the city. Boriska became a local celebrity and people began to visit him to hear him talk about extraterrestrial civilizations, about the existence of ancient human races whose individuals measured three meters high, about the future of the planet in terms of climate changes. Everyone heard those things with great interest, even though they did not believe in the stories. The parents decided to baptize their son, thinking that maybe it was a spiritual issue, because they believed there was something wrong with Boris. But the phenomenon did not stop, Boris Kiss started talking to people about their sins. One day on the street, he approached a boy and admonished him for using drugs, he talked with certain men to stop hitting his women, he warned people about the imminence of problems and diseases. The boy suffers with prior knowledge of natural or social disasters, during the Bisland crisis, he refused to go to school as soon as the attack lasted. When asked what he felt about the matter, he replied that it was as if something burned inside him. I knew the case would have a terrible ending, Boriska said. On the future of the planet, warns that the Earth will go through two very dangerous situations in the years 2029 and 2033, with the occurrence of catastrophes related to water. Specialists of the Institute of Studies of Earth Magnetism and Radio Waves of the Russian Academy of Sciences, photograph Boriska's aura showing itself strong, clear, uncommon. Professor Vladislav Lugovenko analyzes, he presents an orange spectrogram, which means he is a happy, positive person, with a very powerful intellect. There is a theory that the human brain has two basic types of memory, working memory, conscious, voluntary, and remote memory. One of the abilities of the brain is to save information about the experience, be it emotions or thoughts, a dimension that transcends the individual. 
these information are captured by a unique field of information that is part of the universe. Few people are able to access the information contained in this field. Still according to Lugovenko, it is possible to measure the extrasensorial faculties of people with the help of special teams and through very simple procedures. In the investigation of these phenomena in order to reveal the mystery of these extraordinary children like the boy Boris, an interesting fact is that in the last 20 years infants with infrequent abilities have been born on all continents. Children indigo children or blue children, possibly a reference to the Hindu avatar Krishna which, according to the legend, was blue. Interview made to Boriska by the journalist of the Pravda newspaper Gennady Belomov. How do you know about these gifted children and why is this happening? Are you aware that they are called indigo children? I know they are being born. However, I still have not met anyone in my town. Maybe this girl named Yulia Petrova could be one. She is the only one who believes me. Others just laugh at my stories. Something is going to happen on earth, why, these important children. They can help people. The poles will change. The first major catastrophe with one of the continents will happen in 2029. The next one will take place in 2033, it will be even more devastating. Are you not afraid that your life may also end as a result of that catastrophe? No. I'm not afraid. I have already lived through a catastrophe on Mars. There still live people like us. But after the nuclear war, everything was burned. Some of those people survived. They built resguardos, new armaments. There was also a change of continents, although the continent was not so big. The Martians breathe gas. In case they came to our planet, they would have had to be connected to pipes and breathing in them. Do you prefer to breathe oxygen? Once you are in this body, you have to breathe oxygen. However, Martians do not like this air, the air of the earth, because it causes aging. The Martians are all relatively young, about 30 to 35 years old. The number of Martian children will increase annually. Boris, why do our space stations collide before they reach Mars? Mars transmits special signals aimed at destroying them. Those stations contain harmful radiation. I was amazed by his knowledge of this kind of radiation in Phobos. This is absolutely true. In 1988, a resident of Balbsky, Yuri Lushnichenko, a man with extrasensory powers tried to warn Soviet leaders about the inevitable fall of the first Soviet space stations Phobos 1 and Phobos 2. He also mentioned this kind of radiation that is unfamiliar and harmful to the planet. Obviously, then, nobody believed him. What do you know about multiple dimensions? Do you know that one should not fly on straight paths, but by maneuvering through multidimensional space? We take off and land almost momentarily on Earth. The boy takes a chalk and begins to draw an oval object on a blackboard. It consists of six layers, he says. 25% outer layer, made of durable metal, 30% second layer made of something similar to rubber, the third layer comprises of 30% new, metal. The final 4% is composed of a special magnetic layer. If we have to load this magnetic layer with energy, those machines will be able to fly anywhere in the universe. Does Boriska have a special mission to fulfill? Is he aware of it? He says he can guess, says his mother. He says he knows something about Earth's future. He says that information will play a more important role in the future. Boris, how do you know all this? It's inside of me. Boris, tell us why people get sick, illness comes from people's inability to live properly and be happy you should wait for your cosmic half. One should never get involved or interfere in the destinies of other people. People should not suffer because of their past mistakes, but to get in touch with what has been predestined for them and try to reach those heights and keep moving to conquer their dreams. These are the exact words he was using. You have to be more compassionate and kind-hearted. In case someone hit you, embrace your enemy, apologize and kneel mentally before him. In case someone hates you, 
love him with all your love and dedication and ask him for forgiveness. These are the rules of love and humility. Do you know why the Lemurians died? I'm also partially part of the motive. They did not want to further develop their spirituality. They went out of their predestined path, destroying the total integrity of the planet. The path of magic leads to a dead end. Love is true magic. How do you know all this? I know it. Kaylee's. What did you say? I said hello. This is the language of my planet. A major catastrophe took place on Earth. A gigantic continent was consumed by stormy waters. Then, suddenly, a massive solid stone fell into a building my friend was there, says Boriska. I could not save it. We are destined to meet once in this life. Boriska, did you really live on Mars, as people around this place tell us? If true. I remember that time, when I was 14 or 15 years old. The Martians were waging wars all the time so I, often had to participate in air raids with a friend of mine. We could travel in time and fly in space in round spacecraft, but we observed life on planet Earth in triangular ships. Alien spaceships are very complicated. They are layered, and can fly throughout the universe. Is there life on Mars now? Yes, there is, but the planet lost its atmosphere many years ago, as a result of a global catastrophe. But the Martians still live there under the ground. They breathe carbon dioxide. What do those Martian people look like? They are very tall, more than 7 meters tall. They have incredible qualities. The Martians were waging wars all the time so I, often had to participate in air raids with a friend of mine. We could travel in time and fly in space in round spacecraft, but we observed life on planet Earth in triangular ships. Alien spaceships are very complicated. They are layered, and can fly throughout the universe. Is there life on Mars now? Yes, there is, but the planet lost its atmosphere many years ago, as a result of a global catastrophe. But the Martians still live there under the ground. They breathe carbon dioxide. How did you come to Earth? I was killed and my soul moved to Earth because due to the great wars the souls moved to the Earth. The war started when they created a device that teleports souls and teleport to Earth, but I did not see that and I did not. I only read it about it through a written information source. Was the information a book? It was not something like the internet, a room where the information was, there he read, how this technology was used, life changed drastically for Boriska, today is a young man, with a face that is always silent and sad, lives in seclusion and does not like to talk to strangers, all he wants is to be forgotten, what counts is a recent article written by the respected Russian writer Gennady Belomov, university professor and researcher who attended the camp where Boriska began to talk about his past experiences. His parents bought recorders for the recording of Boriska's stories of past lives, little by little they talk less and less about Boriska, and today it is forgotten. From his recordings were presented curious memories narrated by Boriska about serious cataclysms on Mars. <laughs>